plot deals with one of the most uh, difficult parts of teaching music in the classroom, which is instrumental performance uh, as part of a large group. And if you watched uh, the previous video about dividing up the instruments, that's the, the first key component is to make sure we've got uh, our instruments in the classroom divided up into our four different groups. And if we go into level two here, we can see how this will work with the clock. First of all, we have to answer the questions to go through each step. How many colors on the clock? And there are five. So we have the four colors that we've divided the class up into, but we also have white, which is very important uh, color because white is going to be silence. So we divide our class into the different color groups and we make up a sound for each color. So we could be using uh, different vocal sounds for each of these different colors and each different group. Or as I said in the previous video, we can be dividing up um, each color group into a different sounding instrument. For example, green triangles, yellow shakers, uh, red on some kind of chime bars and blue on either wooden percussion or uh, boom whackers if you have them. And the way the clock works is when the hand of the clock passes over uh, each group, they make their sound. So you can hear I'm just about getting a shaker ready here and I'll show you how it works. Um, so I'll be uh, yellow and I'll press play here. So green will be making their sound and then the yellow group shakers and the green will be going again and then for example if you had red on chime bars and um, it always sounds much better as well when you have them in a large group and they're making sounds uh, within each group with uh, multiple players of each instrument there so that's how the clock works um, and it basically deals with the idea of um, getting to, to used to the idea of playing at different times so that we're not all playing at the same time. Everyone's got their own piece to play and a lot of it's about uh, listening to the other groups playing and waiting for your moment to play. And no matter what ensemble you play in, if it's a jazz group or classical music, that's a very important idea that we all have our time to play and we know when to play and when not to play. So the clock is a, is a great um, resource for getting the instruments out in the classroom and getting them to have a really good structured performance. Um, there's also a composition section of the clock. So that was the perform section. And with the composition section, similar to uh, what we had with the front door, the computer chose where the colors went uh, the first time around in the perform section. But this time we can select our colors and we can fill in the clock as we wish. So again, I this would be something I would get um, each group to get a volunteer from each group to come up to the board and say fill in two sections of the clock. So get some of the blue group to come up, fill in two sections. I would also get them while they're up at the whiteboard to talk through what they're doing. So if they come up and select yellow they would say well, what instrument um, have the yellow group got and they'd say shakers so we do we want shakers at the start do you want shakers down around the middle here do you want two groups of shakers together so they're playing for a long time um, so this gives us a, a chance to compose and figure out where we want to put the sounds in this performance um, there's also an element of the clock that we can uh, explore uh, loads of different types of sounds and loads of different ideas from the curriculum. So we can, um, for the first time around you play the clock, you can just be making sound for that whole section, or you could get each group to make up a certain rhythm, or we could do it with dynamics. We could have the blue group playing loudly and the red quietly, um, or you could have sections where you've got the, the them playing quietly at the start and getting louder and louder till they get to that part. And then again, the next group starts quietly and gets louder again. So there's all sorts of rules that you can make up to make it uh, more sophisticated and more complex as we're moving on.